Thank you, our position with daddy. So Lord, we bless your name for who you are. Thank you, Lord God, for dying for us. That we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. So Lord, we thank you for this hour. Thank you, Lord God, for releasing your grace on this hour. And Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Father, that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because you've anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. You've sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. Recovering of sight to the blind. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Lord, we bless your name. I decrease. You increase. Have your bidding in this hour. Holy Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord God, all the gifts of the Spirit are unleashed in the name of Jesus. Sevenfold Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, oh great I am, have your way, Lion of Judah, oh breasty one. Father, speak. Oh God, minister to your people today. And Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we sup at your feet. The highest one. Oh God, thank you for healing right now in the name of Jesus. Heal your people. Holy Spirit, deliver your people. In the name of Jesus. So Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Uh, we just press a time to our hearts press against his heart. Our mind becoming his mind. Mind of Christ. Lord, we thank for the mind of Christ even right now in the name of Jesus. Father, make this plain, make this plain today. As we begin to march forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Double momentum. Hallelujah. Double momentum. And I, I love this because God is pressing us forward. Father, we, for, He's pressing us forward to connect us with Him. He's connecting us with the Lord Christ. That means double, double. Somebody say double. Double. Double momentum. We're not by ourselves. And the Lord is saying to us, we're not by ourselves. He is saying, you are not alone in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. We are not alone as we begin to journey, as we begin to take our pilgrimage up with the highest, as we begin to step off. Uh, God is beginning to let us, God said, I'm setting you up on high. It goes up by shape. Listen, I'm filling your covers. Listen, I'm adding to you in the name of Jesus. Double momentum. In the midst of the famine, God is protecting his people. In the midst of the famine, the Lord has said, I'm making you the head and not the tail. I make you the above only and never beneath. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I make you the head and not the tail. Double momentum. So the title, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this title here, is My Mystery Uncovered. Somebody say that would be My Mystery Uncovered. Let's say it loud. Let's say it loud. Say My Mystery Uncovered in Jesus' name. So, God, we bless your name. And what God is saying as we begin to move forward, last week we talked about our reservation, how God, how God threw an apocalypse uh, through the uncovering of the mystery of Christ identified us in the earth. The Lord identified us as one of his own. Hallelujah. In the earth. And we're going to focus today. We're going to focus today. Hallelujah. On the mystery. Hallelujah. Our mystery that's uncovered. We're going to go a little deeper on what the apocalypse, the mystery and the apocalypse, what it's all about. Hallelujah. We're going to go a little deeper. We're going to have a thought provoking. This is going to press us deeper as God desires for us to come up with him. Somebody say, come up, come up, come up. Come up with him. We have to be able to see clearly. We have to be connected with him in a way that we can see through his eyes, that we can hear through his ears. Hallelujah. That we may be in step with him on our daily journeys. So I would, the Lord would say to us, arise, shine, for your apocalypse has come. Hallelujah. And your light, your uncovering has come. Arise, shine, for your apocalypse has come. And we're gonna, we're gonna, as we begin to move forward, we're going to see it is God's desire that we live in a state of apocalypse. What is that apostle, Hunter? In a state where Christ is being revealed and manifested in our life, hallelujah. It's a constant walk of revelation, a constant walk of manifestation, hallelujah. God is saying that living in a state of apocalypse, a state of an uncovering, a state of manifestation, a state of revelation, hallelujah, as we walk close, as we see the day approaching, hallelujah, what does this mean, it means the, the mystery, my mystery uncovered, what is that, it's the person of Christ, he is the mystery, hallelujah, as we see the end of the age approaching, gross darkness covering the face of the earth, yet we have Christ who gives us light. Hallelujah. He is our uncovering. Christ desires to constantly remove the veil of darkness from our eyes. Hallelujah. Christ desires to constantly remove apocalypse. Somebody say apocalypse. I constantly remove the veil of darkness from our lives. Yes, Children of light. See, for, see uh, when we, when, when Christ reveals the, uh, removes the veil of darkness, then we can be properly the children of light. Because the children of light expose darkness. 
the children of light exposes the hidden things of this world. Amen. The children of light, because is it walk in the light as he is in the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We walk in the light so we might have fellowship one with the other. Why? Because he is a light that's unapproachable. It's an approachable light. This light is, is this light is brighter than the sun that we see in the sky. Hallelujah. Unapproachable light. As we begin to get closer to the sun, hallelujah, nobody can get real close to the sun because it will burn you up. My God, my God. The flames will burn you up. But the Lord is saying that type of light, he's, he's beginning to call us to walk in the beauty of his light. Hallelujah. How much we need his light during this hour. As we begin to see those that call uh, darkness light and light darkness. Those that call uh, what's wrong, right, and right, and wrong. Those that say, that say things, uh, hallelujah, they begin to pervert justice. They begin to uh, 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 turn upside down the rule of law. And God is saying to us, hallelujah, we need the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. My mystery uncovered. And it is an oxymoron because God says, hey, I need you, hallelujah, to keep the mystery wide open, hallelujah. Keep the person of Christ at your forefront. Allow him to open your eyes. That's what the word says. Those who say that I can see, you you, you make you blind. Ah, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. But now I will see. Father, keep me. Keep me blessed, oh, Father. Without you, I can do nothing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My mystery uncovered. How are well we going to purpose? We're preaching the good news of our freedom. The purpose of this message is we're preaching the good news of our freedom. When we say, my mystery uncovered. Hallelujah. We're going to go deeper. What is God saying? Hallelujah. The objective is our apocalypse and our mystery. Hallelujah. Listen, the person of Christ and the mystery. What we're going to do, we're going to extract five things, five principles. Hallelujah. Five principles to keep for our freedom. We're going to extract five principles to stay free. Hallelujah. So that Jesus Christ might have our eyes wide open to what he wants us to see during this hour. I don't know about you. I want to be with Jesus. And the goal is to activate and stir up the remnant. Listen. The hungry, stir up the thirsty, stir up the curious, stir up the zealous, hallelujah. hallelujah. The, the cloak of zeal, hallelujah. God is saying, I want to stir up. Listen, God said, I'm stirring up the remnant, my remnant. I'm stirring up my hungry. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. I know you ate last night, hallelujah. I want some more. Somebody say, I want some more. Hallelujah. I'm stirring up the thirsty. I'm unquenchable. Yes. You want another glass of water? Yes, give me some more water. <laughs> I'm stirring up the curious. Hallelujah. The curious. Someone that's going to seek to understand. Hallelujah. Someone is cheering. I, I, I want to know more. Show me God. Hallelujah. God is stirring up the zealous. Hallelujah. After all is done, God said, put on your cloak of zeal. Hallelujah. I'm stirring you up this hour. Yes, yes. Don't let your flame go out. God is saying, I'm stirring you up in the name of Jesus. 
my mystery uncovered. The scripture would come out of Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Excuse me, Ephesians, the third chapter. Ephesians 3, hallelujah, verses 3 through 9. Ephesians, the third chapter, verses 3 through 9, in the name of Jesus. Amen? And then we begin to go here. I want to start the reading of this scripture. This is Paul speaking about the mystery of, Hallelujah. The mystery, his mystery being uncovered. Hallelujah. Let's just go into this. And Paul began to go forward in the previous chapter of Ephesians 2, talking about how we're now fellow heirs, Jews and Gentiles. And we've been made to come in a oneness with Jesus Christ. We've been made to come together. And he, he began to go forward as it relates to the mystery. And it starts in verse 3, says here, Ephesians 3, verse 3, And the mystery, the secret, was made known to me, and I was allowed to comprehend it by direct revelation, as I already briefly wrote you, also to enlighten all men and make plain to them what is the plan regarding the Gentiles and providing for the salvation of all men. Here we go. Of the mystery kept hidden through the ages and concealed until now in the mind of God who created all things by Christ Jesus. When you read this, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. This mystery, this amplified, this mystery was never disclosed to human beings in past generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles, consecrated messengers, and prophets by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody say mystery, mystery. Verse 6, King James Version. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Whereof I was made a minister. Whereof I was made a minister. According to the gift of grace of God given to me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Ephesians 3, 9. And to make all men see, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. We get there, hallelujah. What is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world have been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. My mystery uncovered. Hallelujah. He said, listen, he preached a gospel. I believe Paul is the one that said, I came to you. Hallelujah. I was in fear and trembling myself. But I came to you, not with enticing words of men wisdom, but through demonstration of the spirit and of power. We talk about uncovering the mystery. Hallelujah. 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 See, this mystery Paul was talking about, what gave him his assignment. See, mystery uncovered for Paul was when God made him a minister of the gospel hey. of Jesus Christ. Hey. Paul's mi a mystery was uncovered. Paul had an apocalypse. Hallelujah. When Jesus uncovered his destiny, his purpose, his assignment in a moment's notice. 
Hallelujah. A mystery the, out of the person of Jesus Christ. Yes. My God. Hallelujah. Mystery. Yes. Uncovered. But then he began to say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to preach this thing to make all men see what the fellowship of this mystery is. I, be, I believe that the Lord, the Lord has a sense of humor. But see, the fellowship of the mystery is not for just us. It's meant for human beings. So that they might know that there is a Jesus that still lives. Hallelujah. There's a Jesus that's alive and very well. You remember? The mystery, hallelujah, uncovered. God said, let I mean, the Lord, I hear the Lord say, let me out of the box, hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Take me out of your religion. Ah. Take me out of your boundaries. Ah, Jesus. Take me out of your limitation. The Lord said, take me out of your thinking, hallelujah. Yeah, this thing right there. Jesus. The mystery, the unsearchable, oh past finding out. I don't know how it happened. Ah, yes. Thank you, my God. Yes. The mystery. Past finding out. My God. Hallelujah. How did that happen? Let's go. Let's, let, let, let's go. Let's go further. My mystery. My mystery uncovered. Let's start it off. We, we're going to take it out. We're going to take some principles from Ephesians 3. It starts off. And that the mystery, the secret, was made known to me, and I was allowed to comprehend it by direct revelation. As I already briefly wrote you. Hallelujah. Now, because I've already wrote this to you a time ago about my testimony. I, when I was on the road, uh, on the Damascus Road, uh, when I fall off the ho fell off the horse, and the Lord met me on that road. Uh. So let's look at apocalypse. Let, let's look at this. That word by direct revelation. Revelation, the Greek word here is apocalypse. Apocalypse. Some say apo apocalypto. Hallelujah. This thing right here means that Jesus uncovered something. Let's look. Revelation. Info, it means information that confirm my identity. Hallelujah. The first bullet here that God is saying, Hallelujah. Christ. Uh, listen, the person, the mystery, Hallelujah, must be uncovered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have to see. That Jesus is taken out of the box. My God. He must not be hidden in my life. He must be uncovered. See, the word apocalypto, it means properly uncovered, revealing what is hidden or what is veiled. What is obstructed? I'm not trying to see you. I'm trying to see the Jesus in you. Come on, come on. Lord, come on. help me. Jesus. Somebody help me. Say, it again. Say, help me, Lord. Help me, help me, help me, God. Say that again. My God. Say that again. <laughs> listen, God said, God said, listen, to uncover, revealing what is hidden, revealing what is veiled. To reveal what is obstructed. Especially its inner makeup. Listen, I need to see Jesus in you. Who is, what is this Jesus in you? Who is this man? Hallelujah. What, you know, teach, preach to me how unsearchable this person is that lives inside of you. And then the figurative is it to make plain, manifest. Somebody say manifest. manifest. Particularly what is invisible. 
are immaterial. Hallelujah. The invisible faith. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. The invisible God. The God that's in you must come out. Hallelujah. He must be visible to the world. God is saying, hallelujah. This is the season, the season that we are in right now. God said, I'm making myself visible to the world. Hallelujah. My mystery uncovered. Your mystery uncovered. The Lord is in the business of making himself known to the sinner man, to every every man, as he did in Egypt, uh, to Pharaoh and his army. He made himself known to the children of Israel and more, and to the world in the name of Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. Apocalypse. To take off the cover, to uncover the person of Christ, the acts of God. Hallelujah. Somebody say the acts of God. The acts of God. The glory of God, the cabal, his glory being revealed. Let's take the cover off. Hallelujah. Hey, a light must be shined on the hill so that the world might know. That Jesus is alive and very well. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Apocalypse. It says to uncover the mind of God. To uncover what is God thinking. How brilliant he is. Hallelujah. God talks about this apocalypse. Means to uncover the truth. This is the final thing. To uncover the truth, my God. To uncover the truth. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the what? The truth. And then I am the life. I'm here to uncover your identity, to uncover the real person, to uncover the real daughter to uncover the real son i'm uncovering you don't even know yourself who you are but when i begin to uncover you you begin you yourself will taste of the glory you will yourself will taste of who i am and say hey hey come and eat taste and see that the lord he is what good. he's good Amen. who is this man that can speak to the wind and the sea, and they obey him. Who is this person? Oh Who is this person that can speak to my storm and say, peace, be still? Who is this man? <laughs> Listen, who is this man? God is saying to us, my mystery uncovered. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. God, uncover Christ Jesus in my life. That's our prayer. God, uncover the glory. Listen, God, uncover your truth in my life. Father, God, uncover every day. Lord God, uncover who you are in my life. This thing right here is a constant state of being uncovered. Hallelujah. So see, we, we can uncover but today, but tomorrow we try to cover him up a little bit. God was saying, keep me exposed. Oh <laughs> Lord, help me keep. Yes. Keep me uncovered. It's a state of uncovered. It's a state, the Lord said, it's a state of discovery. Not only you will find out, begin to find out who Jesus is, it will take a lifetime to get to know me. And that won't even be enough. I, I got to take you all the way into eternity. <laughs> I got to take you into eternity so you can get a full glimpse of who I am in Jesus' name. My God, my God. Apocalypse. 
Give me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, so help me God, and that's what our prayer is in Jesus' name. And that was preparing, and I wrote this down because it was so sweet, and the Lord gave to me. Say this with me. Say, give me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Father, we bless your name in Jesus' name. And God will honor the prayer. Just as the courtrooms honor the oath. When they say, raise your right hand. Hallelujah. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, God, do you lay your hand on this Bible. But God, as God has shared with us, hallelujah. I'm getting ready to reveal myself to you in this time. Get ready. Listen, fasten your safety belt. We are going for a ride. I'm taking you on a ride. Get yourself in position. Listen, I'm taking you places that you've never gone. I'm taking you places in me that you've never seen. That's what the Lord is saying. There's an uncovering, a drawing away by Christ of the veil of darkness. Jesus is removing the veil, the mystery and purpose of God in your life right now. Jesus is making known, he's uncovering your mystery, your purpose in this life right now. This is only for the hungry. These are folks that are hungry and thirsty. These are the curious. These are for those that are ready for zeal. Listen, God is crying out right now. A clarion call is going out over the earth in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Are you the one? That's what the Lord is saying. Are you the one? I am seeking my seed. I'm identifying my body, the body of Jesus Christ, where it says a seed shall serve him. And it should be accounted unto the Lord for a generation. Are you the one? My God, yes. yes. Isaiah 53 says, says it this way, say, it says, who shall declare his generation? Are you the one? My God. I love you. Isaiah 66 says, shall I come and bring to the birth and shall it not be delivered? Hallelujah. Uh, Romans 8 says it this way. Uh, hallelujah. The sons of God are being manifested. All creation wait for the apocalypse. The manifestations uh, of the sons of God. Are you the one? In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm the one. I'm the one, Lord. Hallelujah. You found him right here. <laughs> hallelujah. You found him in Jesus' name. My mystery uncovered. See, so the apocalypse, the one, apocalypse of the mystery, the uncovering of the mystery. Hallelujah. And listen, it's Jesus Christ trying to make himself known during this season, during this pandemic. Don't hide him. Don't put him in a corner. Don't put him on the shelf. God is saying, come out, come out. And arise, shine, for your light is come. Hallelujah. Apocalypse, apocalypse, apocalypse. The second thing we're going to deal with is mystery. Hallelujah. He said, verse 3, Ephesians 3, 3, said, and that the mystery. Let's look at this mystery. Hallelujah. I'm going to say this right here. Listen. The second point, the apocalypse of the mystery, of the uncovering of the mystery of Jesus is for someone that has been initiated, hallelujah. Someone, someone that has gone through initiation, hallelujah. Let's see what this mystery, what is God talking about, this mystery. See right here it says this mystery. It's from, it's, it's from the Greek word mysterion. It means to shut the mouth. A secret or mystery through the idea of silence imposed by initiation into religious rites. 
I'm, I'm just going a little further. And it, it class of me a hidden thing, secret, a mystery. A religious secret confided only to the initiated and not to be communicated by them to ordinary mortals. Hallelujah. And we we're going to go deep. Hallelujah. This, this right here is for believers that have gone through the process of initiation. Let's, 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 go, let's go further. Hallelujah. We're talking about a mystery being uncovered. Initiate me and mix someone into a secret or obscure society or group. It means to, it means, it is something similar being formally initiated into a sorority. Now, I think in the natural, we understand to be a part of a sorority, you have to go through initiation. I mean, I believe that we can understand, identify with that. And they will have you go because you want to be a part of this group. Hallelujah. You, you coming through, you have to come through the ranks, and you have to put up with and deal with maybe some shameful things. Sorority or fraternity, male or female. I know in the Navy, to become a shell back, we call it shell back. You have to go through an initiation. And if you make it to the end of the line, you will inherit, you will be officially a shell back. But baby, to get to the end of the line, you're going to have to go through some crazy stuff. Right? Somebody may slap you, somebody may throw some paint on you, you got to keep moving. You, you can't stay at that station you got to continue to move fast so that you can make it to the end of the, the end of the line. And so it is with this mystery for Jesus to uncover before your mystery can be revealed to you. You must go through initiation to find out are you a true believer? Hallelujah. That's why God says it this way. In this time, the initiated, we as the body of Jesus Christ, uh, hallelujah, what we, we've been in the preview season. We've been in the, in the back practice. We've been only, but God is saying in this season, this is the real deal. My God. My God. That was practice. Oh my God. But this is for real. <laughs> Listen, hallelujah. Use everything that you've learned in the past to make it through your season during this hour. Your mystery is being uncovered. The world is going to begin to see who you really are. Are you a true believer? Doesn't matter what title you have, pastor, apostle, prophet, evangelist, minister, doesn't matter. Every person will go through by faith in the name of Jesus. My God. Are you a true believer of the gospel of Jesus Christ? As God begins to reveal your identity to the world, this is who I am in this person. Hallelujah. Initiated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, the apocalypse of the mystery, the uncovering of the mystery is for someone that has been initiated. Jesus will tell the secret to overcomers. Jesus will tell and release himself to the initiated. Those who undergone trials, tests in this life. God began to, began to continue and says, this is not ordinary, the apocalypse of the mystery. It's not for someone that is ordinary, but extraordinary, extraordinary, hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Not natural, but supernatural, hallelujah. Yes, yes. See, believers through faith 
understand that we are not ordinary. Listen, we fast and pray. You and my we have a job, we have an occupation, we have a career, but yet we know that God gives us an assignment. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. See, God, we understand that we listen, we're not just like an ordinary person. We are extraordinary. Hallelujah. My God. We are not just natural, we are supernatural. Oh my God. Come on. Somebody turn, turn to your neighbors and put your cape on. Put your cape on. Yeah. Ah, put your cloak of zeal on. Hallelujah. Put it on. My Jesus. My God. Oh Believers through faith understand. Hallelujah. They understand. Hallelujah. That we go above the bar. Listen, hallelujah. We know that we work spiritually while it's day, but night come when no man can work. We are not ordinary when we go and come home, go to sleep, and it's over. God has called us to a, to a higher place of praise. Jesus. Come on. He called us to go up on the mountain and to praise his name. Oh my God. The Lord has called us to a higher place. With him, hallelujah. The Lord said, I will set you on a high place with me. I will set you. You're not going to set yourself. I'm taking you to your high place in the name of Jesus. My God. Yeah, to the remnant, though, the Lord said, I, he said, come on up to your high place. I'm escorting you to your high place. The Holy Spirit is coming to get you higher and taking you to your high place. My God. See, the mystery is for someone that is not ordinary, but extraordinary. Not natural, but supernatural. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. I put my cape on. Hallelujah. I put my spiritual cape on. We ready to go with the Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. The cloak of zeal. Hallelujah. See, when you read this, as we go further, when you read this, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. This mystery was never disclosed to human beings in past generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostle, consecrated messengers and prophets by the Holy Spirit. Listen, this is the third point I'm going to say. See the, see, the uncovering of the mystery is for me today. Somebody, somebody say it's for me. It's for me. See, the mystery that's kept, that was kept hidden through the ages that was concealed is revealed to us today. Some people believe that they haven't been, that God has forgotten about them. That they have no relevant purpose on the earth. That maybe they don't have a relevant assignment, but the Lord is saying what was hidden in the past is open right now. Hallelujah. And the Lord Jesus simply saying, come to me, come. All ye that are burdened, if you are heavy laden, I desire to give you rest. So come, 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 come. Hallelujah. As we talked about last week, on our journey to get to our high place, to get to the plane, on our journey to get to the airport, last week we talked about how many distractions may come. That's where the initiation come in. How many distractions may come to stop us from getting on our flight? From making it to the airport where the Lord would have to release his power to go before us. His escorts to prepare us, to protect us from enemy invaders. But once we get up, as we begin to get to the airport, 
and we get ready to approach the ticket counter, the Lord began to unveil to us the mystery that was hidden. See, Adam and Eve never made it to the tree of life. Why? Because God played, placed cherubim, fiery cherubim with flaming swords so that the way to life would never be until Jesus had to come and die for us. Jesus had to pay the ultimate price for humanity for us to be able to know what is the secret thing that God has, has provided for me. See, as we begin to look, the Lord Jesus simply said, the kingdom of God is within. Hallelujah. The kingdom is not with observation. The kingdom doesn't come when going to this city or that city, this big church or that little church. The kingdom is within me. Somebody say the kingdom is within the kingdom wants to unleash himself. He wants to be released. He wants to identify me in his kingdom. He wants us to move with full assurance in what he has proclaimed and announced from heaven over our life in Jesus' name. Apocalypse. Hallelujah. The mystery. Hallelujah. So listen. Also, to enlighten all men and make plain to them what is the plan regarding the Gentiles and providing for the salvation of all men. Of the mystery kept hidden through the ages and concealed until now in the mind of God. Listen, God said not only... Paul was saying, it's not only myself that received the mystery was uncovered for me, but Lord said, this is for all nations, Jews and Gentiles, black and white, rich and poor, all cultures, all creed. God, Paul was saying, this apocalypse the unveiling of Jesus Christ, his release to that individual, hallelujah. The Lord was saying through Paul, of which he was made a minister. He said, it's not just for you, but it's made to the common man. It's made to every person that is called by my name. Hallelujah. There's no special people in the kingdom. All of us have a role. We all have an assignment. Jesus is the governor of the kingdom. See, as we begin to move forward, this apocalypse of the mystery is salvation. This is salvation for all men. The Lord is saying to us, hallelujah, this is full redemption. The Lord will stop with us, but then God said, I'm taking you to a place. Hallelujah. I am fully redeeming you. Hallelujah. See, it has to come to your knowledge. Hallelujah. I'm going to read something about the wisdom that God is saying to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The wisdom that God spoke of in the text, hallelujah, God began to share with us about what he is doing. Hallelujah. Ephesians 3, 6 through 8, it says that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of, the, of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me who am less than the least of the saints is this grace given. That I shall preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Riches here 
Their riches is made up. Their riches, riches is made up of two. It's been identified at least two. It's, it's God's intelligence. It's made of two words, Sophia and Gnosko. It's God's broad intelligence and experiential knowledge. It's knowledge that only God can reveal. I'm going to share something with you. God said apostles and prophets. Why? Because apostles and prophets, God will give them an encounter with himself. And they will begin to set order and to demonstrate this is what God is saying. My God. Something that just happened. As I begin to flow in my workplace, we were supposed to be going. We were going to do a function. I was supposed to be somewhere in, in Crestview. But while I laid down in my bed, the Lord gave me a dream and showed me you're not going to Crestview. You're going to work. Now everybody's supposed to be in Crestview. And the Lord showed me a gentleman at my job. As I began to walk through the door, I seen this gentleman. And I said, well, God, that's my answer. I'm not going to quit you. I'm going to my job. But just to test you, just to test what you, if that's you, what you showed me, I want to make sure, I want to see if that person that I saw in the dream is actually in, in, at my job. And as I began to walk through the door, sure enough, the individual that I saw in the dream was standing there with another person. And then I told the person, I told him, I said, listen, the Lord gave me a dream that you're supposed to, you're going to be here, even though you're supposed to be somewhere else. God said, you are going to be here today. That was Jesus Christ revealing himself. And the gentleman looked, the gentleman, gentleman eye, he got so big, he was like, whoa. He said, I wasn't even supposed to be here, but there's, he explained the reason why he got caught up at the office. And what, what, what are we saying here? We're talking about broad intelligence. See, God wants to demonstrate himself in this hour in a way that man would know there's no way that you would know that I was here. Only heaven can reveal to you that I will be here. Now, I don't know how it happened, but you saw it. There's so many things that God began to reveal to prophets, to apostles, and God is saying, keep me uncovered. I want to reveal myself to you in ways that you know not of. When God is saying wisdom, hallelujah, God is saying broad intelligence. Past finding out. Unsearchable. How did that happen? I don't know. Only thing I know is heaven intervened to make me know something that I, I, I didn't have the ability to know otherwise. And what God is saying during this time, I'm desiring an apocalypse. I'm designed to uncover my son, Jesus Christ, in your life. I'm uncovering my glory. Raise your hand right now. Could you stand to your feet? I'm uncovering my truth in your life. I'm doing a work in these days that if it was told you, you wouldn't believe it. Listen, I'm doing a work in these days I need you to keep your ears open, hallelujah. Your eyes open to heaven. Begin to walk, hallelujah, with the person, Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying to us, open your eyes and behold my glory. Understand, 
I am your mystery. The Lord said, I am your secret. <laughs> hey, Robo Kodamande Bashe. I am your secret, the Lord said. I am broad intelligence. I am your experience. I am, I am, I am. Robo Kodamande I am Jehovah Rapha. I'm your healer. I'm your deliverer. I'm Jehovah Shalom. I'm your peace. Listen, I am your Uzi. I'm your army. I'm the host, the Lord of hosts. And God is saying to us, I've called you to come with me. Stay on the straight path. Stay on the narrow path. Come. The Lord is saying, I've called you to be extraordinary. I've called you to be supernatural. Come. The Lord is saying, I've called you and I am for you today. My purpose is for you today. My assignment is for you today. Listen, don't go to sleep. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. But look straight ahead. You go there, my mama. The Lord saying, your salvation has come. Your redemption has drawn nigh. Right now, God wants to uncover. He wants to do a healing. He wants to release some things into your life. Listen, dust yourself off. The Lord is speaking to you today. He said, allow me to come out of the box. Remove the hindrances and keep your eyes on me. This is your day for a miracle. Apocalypse. You're uncovering right now. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father, for healing. We thank you, Lord God, for your oil that Jesus is wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace is upon him. And by our stripes, by your stripes, by your stripes, we are healed in Jesus' name. So Lord, we bless your name right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. 